Hi, I'm Clint Rickus. We're at the Overlake Transit Center, and I'm here with Lynn, who runs the Connector Program here. Lynn, can you tell us a bit about yourself and about the Connector Program? My name is Lynn Frosch. I am the Puget Sound Transportation Services Manager here um, at Microsoft. Okay. And so, as you mentioned, I do manage actually our entire transportation program, uh, which includes not only the connector, but also um, the shuttle piece, and then commuting, whether that's uh, carpool, van pool, okay. uh, transit buses. Uh, so we do have over 35,000 employees and uh, contingent staff that come to campus on any given day. Okay. And of those folks, uh, about 62% of them are driving alone. But the other 30%, 38% are taking um, an alternate mode, okay. uh, like the connector. What would be some other modes? Besides the connector, which does move about 1,200 people uh, to campus during the AM commute times okay. and then back home again during the PM commute times, we do have, um, we do subsidize uh, van pool. Okay. Each Microsoft employee does get a free bus pass here at Puget Sound, so they can um, utilize seven different transit agencies around Puget mm -hmm. Sound. Um, or maybe they're coming under their own power and actually walking or, or biking to work. So okay. it's really great to see. And once we actually get them to campus, because there's so many buildings that are spread out, yeah. uh, we have a shuttle connect system, which moves probably over uh, 5,500 employees a day from building to building to get them to their different meetings. And um, within that program, there are over, there are approximately 130 vehicles. We okay. have a little over 50 of those are the small Prius hybrid vehicles, and then all the way up to a larger 12 passenger um, shuttle that either moves around on a fixed route or okay. actually an on-demand system that just zooms all over campus, bringing employees from building to building. Cool. Hey, so this is Aaron. He's the general manager of the Connector program. Uh, you just saw me sweat my badge. Could you explain what, why I just did that? Certainly. The, the biggest question when we were originally talking about the Connector, or what it would be, what it would consist of, that one question that kept coming up was how do we manage trip requests? Uh, how do we keep a bus from filling up? How do we spread the load over the entire schedule that's available? Well, the one thing that we kept coming back to was the employee badge. Every Microsoft employee carries an employee badge. Uh, and this seemed like a no-brainer. This was the thing we needed to tie into. And so MV Transportation, who is the contracting firm um, for Microsoft that operates this service, uh, developed a in-house web ha or excuse me website that allows an employee to make a reservation either on a one-time basis or a recurring basis uh, depending on what fits their schedule uh, tied to that badge is a unique ID number that number is captured on on our side with the website and is your unique ID that's how we know if you get on or off the bus um, so swiping your badge there just let me know that yes you made a reservation and yes, you're supposed to be on this bus, so welcome aboard. Great. Can you tell me some, about some of the features on the bus? Certainly. Uh, every bus in the fleet, in the connector fleet, does have Wi-Fi available. Okay. Uh, depends on the size of the bus, on, on the bandwidth that's available. We try to keep the load relatively balanced and similar to what you would see at your okay. house. If so th this is the big bus. Now let's go check out some of the smaller vehicles, such as the Priuses. Let's do it. After you. Okay. Okay, Aaron, so we were just at the buses. Now we're in front of this Prius. What are we looking at here? Well, this is uh, a service separate from what we just saw, the connector service. Okay. This is the Shuttle Connect. This is intra-campus transportation designed for employees getting from meetings, yeah. um, campus to campus kind of, kind of travel. Uh, this particular vehicle is, is one of the Priuses we have in the fleet. We have 53 vehicles, or excuse me, 53 Priuses in the fleet. Uh, the Shuttle Connect fleet is made up of, uh, of about 130 vehicles okay. consisting of Priuses. We do have some biodiesel uh, shuttles in that fleet as well. So how old are some of these Priuses? Well, this one we're looking at is 2000, it's, we got in 2005, uh, has roughly 130,000 miles on it. They do anywhere from 100 to 200 miles a day, so they get some good, good service time. Okay, so to maintain the, the entire fleet, what kind of uh, maintenance goes into to maintaining that? That's a great question. Great question. Uh, safety first is, is how we operate. Uh, these vehicles need to be in top-notch shape. With 130,000 miles, it yeah. gets a little, little hard to, to keep them up. So MV Transportation, the contracting firm, actually does do all the maintenance on these vehicles in-house. 
Uh, they will see service time on a 3,000 mile interval or okay. every 30 days, whichever comes first. They get a 100 point inspection, uh, oils changed, all that kind of stuff there in house, back on the road the next day. Cool. Keeps the downtime. So, can, can we do a lap really quick? Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you. So, Aaron, walk me through the car. Well, uh, this device we're looking at right here is really the brains behind the operation. As much as I like to say it's me, it's really this guy right here. Uh, this thing does two things. First thing it does is it sends out GPS data to our database every 15 seconds. Okay. Like I said, there's 129 of these vehicles, so that's a lot of data. Yeah. Uh, from there, it gets cycled through our um, special algorithm. Um, it's got parameter settings mm -hmm. based on what we what we think is more important. Do you you know want to limit the time you're waiting for the shuttle or limit the time that you're in it? Uh, from there, it's cycled through the algorithm, finds a solution. In this case, it may be this vehicle. Okay. And it sends it right back to the vehicle, to the display here. Okay, and then I'm assuming then the driver sees it, grabs us, and then whisks us away to wherever we need to Correct. get. Correct, correct. Awesome. So Lynn, how do you deal with the occasional downpour like we're having currently and some uh, horrible Seattle traffic? Uh, so uh, our connector system, which we run 23 routes, has um, our entire system has 55 buses, but only 49 of those are in motion really on any given time okay. in the AM and PM. So those extra six are there for to pick up in case one breaks down or there is congestion like you mentioned um, so that we can make sure that we're dispatching our buses and getting employees home or to work quickly. But of course, um, part of the connector system is taking that kind of traffic off the road because yep. we don't like that congestion. And on average, um, the connector program does take uh, 44,000 um, vehicle trips off the road any given month, which does equate to about uh, 620,000 vehicle miles traveled, which is reduced, which for the environmental effect is about 590,000 pounds of carbon emissions reduced. Well, thank you so much. It is rush hour, so I'm going to let you get back to, to helping manage this kind of uh, commute. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.